this is Rosa Phoenix. I'm here in downtown Portland, Oregon, and uh, I'm in front of the Pacific Northwest College of Art. I'm going to visit my friend Heidi in her art studio. She's a student here. The guillotine or the curtain paper. Very messy. Studio. I put Asian paper over it. Like rice paper? Yeah, it wasn't, it's not rice, it's like mulberry or something. And then pulled the ink off onto the other sheet, so it's like a transfer. So I used the print as the matrix, because like normally the, the wood would be the matrix. Um, and I'm, it's like the print is glued to this piece of fabric. And now I'm like removing the paper. So it'll be left over. Oh, I think I did something like this one. Like oh, it feels paper. like waxy. So I, I took the print and glued it to this board and then just like sanded and stuff. And then I coated this with varnish. But you can see by the dot pattern, this is a four color CMYK breakdown. So I made a blue one, a, a magenta one, a cyan one, and a black one, and then stacked them on top of each other. Mm. And there's these dot patterns, you can see. It's a reproduction of that painting. The compassionate cat. He said this is the east west situation here because this is bloodletting from a western manuscript and there's other characters are based on these two ones. I think I added the squirrels in myself. So I don't think that was in the original. But the, the structure of Yeah, so I cut the text out of the, the printed PDF and glued it to the top of the sheet and drew the quotation marks on by hand. And on the back, I glued pieces of my other prints. That's so um, beautiful. So you can see through. I have them printed like this. And so then, you printed these on the copy machine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they come out like this, front and back. 
And I can oh, throw this nice. back in and make a quick copy of this version. You made prints and then you sewed them into these. Yeah, well, I, mean, I would make the, the fabric. I printed on the fabric and then sewed them into shapes. This one's really fun to throw because it like has a boomerang effect. Still like very prototype. I don't, I don't really know what to do with that yet, but I'll figure it out. It's adorable. Out. You embroidered the face? Not well, but I did. They're directing everything. Mm -hmm. Mm. I have another experiment happening. What's that? I bought this? poorly made colored paper and I put film over it and I taped them to the window. Oh, so it's like awesome. burning on there. I like that. So it feels like an old library book, but it looks crappy because it's the inkjet. So I'm going to probably remake it. So this is all dedicated to your cat who. Harold and Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Oh, both cats, yeah, Harold mm -hmm. and Mitchell, who passed away last year. Mm -hmm. Was it last year or no? 2020. Yeah. So, all of this art is is really dedicated to them, and it's about your... I actually have them as the writers. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> they basically told me like the story. It was like channeled through you. I it was cut into my flesh. Scratched. Oh, cut into, into your flesh. Scratched into my flesh. Okay, not just channeled, but... <laughs> well, it was sent to Thomas in a dream, transliterated to Simon, who scratched into my flesh. 